Hey everyone, Steven the Salon Guy here. I feel like it's been forever. I've been going through a lot of great things in my life. I'm actually moving into a new house. Today is my birthday, and that's how dedicated I am to you guys. I know it's been a while. I've been I've been super busy, but I promise I'm making it up to you guys. So happy birthday to me, and this is my gift to you guys. One video today on my birthday. So I've gotten lots of requests for this. Uh, Matthew Espinosa, uh, I've gotten loads and loads of requests, so I've been getting bombarded with it, so I'm ready to do it. Let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown on how to get the Matthew Espinosa look. So what we're gonna do is, and I pre-cut this just to give you a quicker rundown of how to actually do this and how to tell your barber what to do. So we're probably gonna use, I'd say, number four, and his hair is actually a little bit longer now, uh, but when he had his hair shorter, this is definitely uh, pretty much just like how he had it, but it is a little bit longer now um, throughout the top and sides. But uh, you're gonna say you're gonna take about a number four guard, and we're gonna cut it probably about right to about right here. So just about even probably with the eyebrow, and we're gonna go all the way around, probably with a number four guard, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're going to then cut this by hand and blend this up right into the corners of the hairline uh, throughout both sides, okay? And once that is done, we're ready to then start using scissor over comb and working into the top here. So for the scissor over comb part, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start here, right in the back of the top of the head, right here, and we're going to connect this now, all right? And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this to where it's about, I'd say, an inch, uh, to an inch and a half, the most in length, and we're going to connect the back going in through the top area right throughout the back of the head here. So let's do this throughout this entire section right into here, and as you can see, this is where the length is going to end up being uh, right about through here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue to work towards the front and now that we have our guide back here we're going to comb this straight up and now we're going to cut this towards about two inches the most in length throughout the top here okay as you can see. What we're going to do is we're going to work straight down towards the front of the head and we're going to comb everything straight up like this and we're going to cut the same exact length going all the way in through the front. Now as we get closer to the front, what we're going to do is we're going to pull this back and we're going to over direct, which means we're pulling back towards us to leave most uh, length that we can in the front, um, but by leaving it to probably about two and a half to three inches right in through the front here, okay? Then we're done with this, now it's time to work in through the corner to make sure everything's blended in. The best way to work into the corners is to comb everything straight down like this, where the head shape rounds out is where you cut this, okay? And that's gonna give it a really, really good blend to make sure everything has a nice flow to it and it has uh, a nice shape for when it grows out. So what you're doing is you're cutting off this corner here just to make sure everything looks good and is rounded out nicely. Now we're gonna do the, finish this up on this side, then we'll do the same exact thing on this side. So as you can see what I'm doing here is I'm just using scissors over comb to make sure everything is blended and nicely, that has a good shape to it, and I'm also adding some texture right in through here as well. So you wanna take the comb like this, we're combing the hair back, and I'm using the point of the shear like this and just chipping into it. And this is a great texturizing technique to add some texture and extra volume uh, to hair when styling it. Another great way to texturize hair is if you come in like this and we use the points of our shears and we just chip in, we close the shear as we pull away with the points of the, sh of the scissors, and that also helps give it some nice texture. Now I'm just gonna blow dry a little bit and then we'll put some product in it and we'll be finished. So to get volume in this hair saw, what you need to do is you need to point the blow dryer up so it's blowing the hair straight up. Use your fingers and use it to lift from the scalp up to get volume. And that's how you're gonna get maximum volume and a really good style. All right, so we're using some dry wax and we're gonna take a finger scoop here. We're gonna work it through our hands just like this, just to get the product uh, spread out throughout our hands, and now we're gonna work it in through the hair. So you wanna start in the back and just kinda of really work it in and use the palm of your hand just to kinda of get some uh, volume and some texture in through here, okay? And then what you can do is kinda of work this down just like this, and he had it kind of like up just in the very, very front, um, just like that. So just to recap, you wanna use about a number four up to about right here, okay? It's what you wanna tell your hair cells or barber about a four right up to here. Do everything by hand, uh, you want to go the four all the way throughout the back of the sides, then everything do, by, do it by hand. Uh, we're cutting it then to about, so we're about an inch and a half uh, to two inches the most throughout the, the top back here. And then we're getting longer and longer towards about two and a half to three inches the most right into the very, very front here. Okay, then obviously everything is rounded out to the corners, add some texture to it, add some dry wax to it or a paste to get this up in the front here, 
uh, and then you'll be done with the haircut and style. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I do have lots of videos on the way, so I apologize for not putting out more videos, but I've been extremely busy. I've been very, very busy, but I'm not giving up. I'm here for you guys, and uh, keep the requests coming. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time for more tutorials with the Salon Guy.